Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, before I break my mic, we are continuing on with our VGC Series 10 content and today we are featuring what everyone asked for last week, a Mewtwo team. So we're kind of carrying on uh, playing the little bit more obscure Pokemon that are available restricted wise in the format and uh, obviously Mewtwo is one of those. Uh, Mewtwo psychic type, pure psychic typing and um, not commonly seen. I haven't played a single one this season and uh, I haven't even yeah, haven't even seen one. Um, and probably for a few reasons. Like, I love Mewtwo as a Pokemon. Love it as a restricted. But it is outclassed in pretty much every department by Shadow Rider Calyrex. Uh, so why would you kind of opt to play the kind of non-optimal side of that? Well, if you do enjoy it, um, then you can go for it. And that's what we're trying to do in this team today. We've went with a different kind of route. It's got amazing coverage, Mewtwo. It gets Ice Beam, uh, Blizzard fire blast it gets a roar sphere it gets a, the, the list goes on uh, but we try to kind of accommodate something in the team that can kind of work against the current meta we'll get into the details of the team in a moment and while we get into the battles as always there will be a poker paste down below uh, if you want to try the team out for yourself and at the end of the episode we'll throw a rental up with Mewtwo we obviously have got the Guzzlord in there as well the elephant in the room we've got a shout about it um, and it has got the psychic seed we've got Ndidi for support with the psychic Psychic terrain as well helps with the expanding force with Mewtwo. The redirection is really useful as well. Got Whimsicott in there for a bit of speed control because we are going to need it. And we got a special tech on Whimsicott, which I think helps support this particular build quite well. So we'll get into that. Hopefully, we can reveal that in game. Urshifu gives us a water type as well, as well as a fire type and a little bit of um, kind of priority if the psychic train's not on the field. And then Zapdos as well. Field gives us ground immunity that we need and also a way to kind of have a nice switch into something like Zashian as well with the rocky helmet there will resist those attacks that it throws out and just gives us a little bit more stability against those Pokemon as well as things like Kyogre as well so that is a team hopefully you enjoyed today's episode let me know your thoughts on Mewtwo down below I as I say I love it it is the original the OG and uh, it's nice to be able to feature it I just feel like it has a very hard time in a format where they've kind of created this brand new horse Pokemon that just does everything that Mewtwo can do uh, just a little bit better so they need to give Mewtwo a buff in Gen 9 just to kind of give it that lease of life that we know it can and uh, we all want it we're all clamoring for it as fans so sit back hope you enjoyed today's episode friends and without further ado we'll get into game one of today's video first up today we have a Groudon, Zapdos, Cherum, Entai, Dusclops and Incineroar. So, a pretty cool looking team. Really like it. You've got the ground on there providing the sun, supporting the Cherum. Obviously gives an attack and special defense boost to anything it's partnering while the sun's on the field. So, got to be aware of that. Entai going to be there. Going to disrupt with things like Snarl as well as potentially the Incineroar there. But we do have the uh, Psychic Train that will kind of detract uh, the use of fake out at least from the incineral um do we just go psychic mod full psychic mod i feel like we could do the problem is if they go trick room then we are a little bit stuck with what we want to do i mean guzzlord could come in do some work i think guzzlord could actually be quite good here to be honest let's go psychic mod first let's go guzzlord i'm feeling good about guzzlord and our last pokemon do we go Urshifu or do we go something like Zapdos? Mm, I think Urshifu makes a lot more sense here, even though the sun will be up on the field for most of the battle, if not all of the battle. But Urshifu, with its critting Surgeon Strikes, can help us out here. Come on, Mewtwo. Let's not get two losses today. We want at least two wins. At least two wins. That's what we want. So hopefully we can do it. I believe in Mewtwo. Mewtwo is strong. It's strong, especially with a life orb, psychic terrain up. It can do some it can do some good work. And we got anti Groudon. We got a great target for expanding force. Turn one. If we want to go down that route. Now you've got to expect that my opponent probably is going to snarl. Snarl us. Snarl. So that. Hmm. 
Or do we just, do we just, do we just, do we just expand in force? It's whether or not we keep the Ndidi in, you know? Like, Ndidi here not really providing much support. This double target attacks on both Pokemon from the Entai, from the Groudon. Um, we could kind of keep the Ndidi for a little bit later. Maybe we could get something like Guzzlord on the field. We could get Guzzlord on the field and then just protect Mewtwo. And then next turn, we got the expanding Force. Um, it's just kind of, we don't really want Guzzlord coming in and taking a big fat precipice blades that you kind of expect to come out of here. We could just double expand in force. Um, let's just do that. Let's just do that. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna do a heck of a lot. Wow. Okay. Fire blast. Fire flare blitz. It's, it's okay. We do survive that. We're going to go down to the recoil damage. Scarfed. Entai did not expect that. Let's see how much this does. Okay, the Groudon should go down the next turn. Single target Precipice Blades, Ndidi should take, and then the Ndidi should finish off the Groudon, unless it's a heat crash. But I still think we're going to be able to take that, although we do outspeed the Groudon, and Ndidi going to be able to kind of, yeah, clear the field. Okay, so not the best of starts, but not the worst. They've got two Pokemon left, we got three. Um,. Now, did we bring in Ghost Lord? Nah, yeah, let's bring in the Lord. Bring in the Lord. We may as well. We may as well. It is the first game of today's episode. It's very fast paced. We're going to get the Ghost Lord onto the field. See what I can do. Cheron coming out. Okay, well, what's Cheron going to do? And Zapdos. All right. Well, this isn't actually too bad. This isn't too bad at all because we just snarl and expand in force, I guess. Do we need to worry too much about what my opponent can do to Ghost Lord? Not really. I mean, Zapdos. I mean, we could just follow me. Could just follow me. I mean, the other thing to do is probably just protect here. Uh, and just snarl. We could get rid of the Cherim. The Cherim is probably a nice target right now. With the, the, the sun up, the flamethrower, we'll probably be able to knock it out in one hit. I don't worry about Guzzlord getting taken down here. And then Guzzlord can finish this up. What am I do? What am I do? What am I doing with Guzzlord on the field right now? What am I doing? What we? What are we doing? Don't say I don't. I don't. Um, I don't do requests because here we are. This. Um, this Mewtwo was uh, quite the thing to uh, to put together. So they double up into the the DD slot, which is fine. Guzzlord should be able to get rid of the chair. And come on, don't let us down. Okay, not as powerful as I thought, but not too bad. Uh, I think we'll just expand in force now, and uh, we'll just go for the Snarl. Because I think at this point, you know, like, we'll get the Zapdos weakened down. Urshifu can come in and do its thing. But, I mean, like, Guzzlord going to be able to, to win this match by itself pretty much here. Because just the Psychic Seed boost is going to be enough to kind of handle Zapdos and Cherim. I wonder if a Snarl's enough to take down the Cherim here as it goes for its Solar Blade. Not even enough to take the DD down. This DD is a beast. So, um, yeah, we might be able to just do this between the two of these these Pokemon here. We get the crit on the Zapdos, which is helpful. So the expanding force does get rid of the Cherim. Snarl coming out. Star boosted, doing a nice chunk of damage to that Zapdos. And probably in range now of a Dog Pulse? Maybe, maybe. The game's over. The game is over. My opponent has just lost to... Guz Lord. Here we go. The Lord of the Guz. There we go. Cancelled. So, very good game to my opponent. Nice one. And nice and quick for us to kick off with today, of course. We might be able to get another couple of games in. We've got one win with Mewtwo. So, that is all that matters, right? Now, the rest of this episode is going to be a lot of fun. So, good game to my opponent. We'll jump into game two of today's episode. Up next, we have another Groudon. Uh, Groudon, Tapu Lele, Whimsicott, a Porygon 2, uh, Cinderace, and Kingdra. Bit of a weird team because seeing Kingdra in there with the Groudon, it's not something you generally see, but Kingdra there, I'm assuming for the kind of the rain matchup. So you've got a, a Pokemon that can operate within the rain. Uh, you got Tailwind, you got Trick Room, Tailwind on the Whimsicott, Trick Room on the Porygon 2. Uh, there's Psychic Terrain as well there. Uh, I think we've got to be careful against the Lele with something like Guzzlord uh, will be a little bit of a problem for us to deal with and also the kingdra as well which will naturally outspeed us um mewtwo gonna be good maybe we go wimmy mewtwo here um get our tailwind up or play around the trick room um do i want to bring actually 
I think Urshifu is very good here. I think Urshifu is pretty solid against Porygon 2. It's, it's very difficult against the Lele though. That's the only only issue I would say. Like we could go DD Guzzlord. Uh, I feel like Guzzlord's good for the Trick Room if they do kind of counteract our play with, with, with that side. Uh, and maybe end up with something like Urshifu or like DD can be good because we've got we've actually got Shadow Ball which can work so it's maybe a little bit more consistent against this one we'll see but I would imagine P2 comes to this one with Groudon I don't know if we'll see Kingdra hold on see but I can imagine Lele Groudon P2 Maybe Cinderace? Oh, Whimsicott. Okay. So. Me too. Well, we're going to get... I think we're going to get smacked around. Oh, they're going to try and smack us around with a Shadow Ball. I would imagine here. They might go for a Moonblast. Potentially. With the Lele. Um, we don't have Shadow Ball. I mean, we could Trick Room. We could Trick Room. Because they're not going to expect that. We could Trick Room and just Moonblast into the Lele. Counteract. I mean, we could Trick Room as well and just switch into to, to the Guzzlord, you know? That puts us in a really good spot. It just makes it difficult. Well, can we deal with... Can we deal with the opposing Wimmy? That's the thing, you know? Um, and a Dazzling Gleam coming out would not be ideal. Where we could just go for a Moonblast... Break the sash on something like Whimsicott or... Uh, yeah, we'll Moonblast and we'll Trick Room. Because I feel like they're going to Tailwind, yeah. They're going to Shadow Ball as well, I think. The problem is if it's Specs Lele, it causes us a few issues. Because this might be enough to take us down. No, it's nowhere near strong enough. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll get the Moonblast into Lele. They're like, why is this Mewtwo so slow? But it's all it's all all right because we can now expand in force, and that should be enough to kind of clear the field alongside a moonblast, of course. Uh, so we'll expand in force, um, and we'll moonblast. Moonblast a moonblast a lele because I think then Guzzlord can come in and kind of clean up if these two go down, you know. Um, If the Wimmy's not sashed, which it is, okay, it's going to get a Moonblast off, but that's kind of fine. We get rid of the big threats to Guzzlord, and now Guzzlord's going to have a, a fairly easy time when it hits the field. Ooh, Trick Room, Trick Room. There we go. Well, we can Tailwind now, because then we don't really care about um, their Tailwind. So we Tailwind with Wimmy and just expand in force and, and get some big fat chunks onto the field, right? So that kind of works out for us. Um, let's see what they bring in. Pyrobut. Pyrobut. That's all right. We don't mind that. Because we'll outspeed it with an expanding force. And we'll be able to. We might not be able to get rid of the Cinderace, you know. But we'll be able to get rid of the Wimmy, get rid of their speed control. Um, and then our speed control is going to last a little bit longer than theirs, you know. Um, so the expanding force now. I'll be surprised if it doesn't get the, the Cinderace, to be honest. Uh, not quite strong enough. Okay. Well, it's a nice chunk of damage regardless where they go on after the Mewtwo. Iron Head going for that Steel Typing. Which is... Ooh, into the Wimmy. So the Mewtwo gets to live another day. That is perfect for us. Okay, well, we might be able to play into um, Wimmy's special special item here. Because we're going to be able to get another uh, Expanded Force off. I think there's, there's a one or two turns left of Psychic Train 2, maybe, I think. Because I kind of would like to use the Memento. There's two turns. The Tailwind runs out next turn. I mean, they can't... could just moonblast the ground on as well and then what do we got to come in dd goes lord oh, we're gonna be kind of fine yeah i mean we just moonblast ground on we could have protected whimsical here but there's not really much there's no need to um wow 
It does so much damage to Groudon. So much damage. Me too's Me too is a beast. I wonder if that was like a Soul Vest Cinderace. I don't think so. Might have been. It took it pretty well. Wow, Me Too Wimmy just just doing its thing. So very good game to our opponent. Another quick one for us. So we might even get a few more games in today than than we had planned. But uh Me Too, Me Too doing alright. So uh, with that, good game to our opponent. We'll jump straight into game three. Okay, we've got another team. It's a pretty hard one up next. It's going to be Eveltal, a Turtonator, the Rillaboom, Stack Attacker, Amoongus, and Celesteela. Yeah, pretty nasty looking team. Obviously, restricted versus restricted. We're at a disadvantage. The Eveltal has a massive advantage over something like me too. Um, we're going to have to rely quite heavily on Zapdos in this match. I think Urshifu as well is quite good. Um, speed control on my opponent's side going to be mainly Trick Room. Um, you would imagine with the Stacker and the Turtonate. And we're going to have to watch out for like uh, Iron Defenses as well. So that's why Urshifu can come in quite useful. Uh, okay. So Wimmy might not be too bad in this game. But maybe not as a lead. I think we bring me to regardless, but maybe don't bring me to up top. I think maybe go Zapdos as a lead. They're going to try and get rid of Zapdos early on, I think. Um, could go Zapdos. Oh, do we need Wimmy? Zapdos goes Lord, Mewtwo, and Urshifu. I think that's what we're going to go with. Right. We've got to bring Mewtwo. We can't not bring our Restricted. Like Mewtwo can do some work. We're not going to have our terrain though, which is um, not great for expanding force. But Mew could, Mew, Mewtwo can still do some work. Um, I feel like we're going to be relying heavily on Hurricanes hitting uh, something like the Rillaboom. You know? Okay, well. If all they've got is Rock Slide, then we're kind of alright because we can just Wide Guard on that. And we can just go for... I mean, do they keep Eveltal on the field? That's the big thing. Like, or do they switch it out to like Amoongus? Which could be... I think you switch you switch Eveltal out. I think we'll go for... I mean, we could go Flamethrower. We could just double up into Stack Attacker here. Flamethrower. Or... Or we could play it safe. We could play it safe. Completely safe and just go Thunderbolt and Wide Guard. But I do think they go for the Trick Room. But we reveal the Wide Guard, right? Yeah, they're going to bring in Amoongus. Yep. <sighs> trick Room. But they know we got the Y God now, so Guzzlord's gonna be like a prime target for the spore the next turn, I think. Yeah. Trick room. Okay. This is where Didi would have been good, because Didi's the only thing on our team with uh safety goggles. So we've got to kind of try and play around these sleep turns. We can protect Zapdos here and I think just go for a flamethrower into Moongus, although Guzlog probably going to get put to sleep. Well, do you go after Zapdos? Maybe not. I think you want to stop the wide guard first. There's a gyro ball into Zapdos and Spore into Guzlord. Yeah. Okay. Now they're going to put Zapdos to sleep, which you can't really afford it to go to sleep. I think out of everything, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we need Urshifu alive and kicking. Uh, let's just flamethrow it into the Amoongus. It's kind of a waste, though, because they got... Okay. Turtonator coming in. All right, well... Probably see a rock slide here. You've got to imagine. This is where Urshifu would have been the better switch, really. But you don't want to bring Urshifu in on a spore. That was that's the only thing, you know. Rock slide. Gonna do some fat damage. Yep. But we take it pretty well. You know. The problem is that 
uh, this Turtonator is going to start and get these probably Iron Defenses up, which is not ideal. Um, we could Trick Room, although I think they probably Gyro Ball now. So it might be better to bring Zapdos back in. Actually, no, we'll protect here. We'll stall a turn, and then we'll switch to the next turn. Um, and I think we Dark Pulse. We Dark Pulse into Turtonator. Just get some damage on the board. Let's see, I can see Iron Defense, Gyro Ball. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, Guzzlord, you need to wake up. You need to wake up. Right, we need to switch out. Let's go on to Zappy. We need to stop the Trick Room more than anything, really, you know? Like, I know Turtonator is a bit of an issue right now, but if we can just get some damage onto the Stack Attacker... The problem is the Body Press is going to absolutely nuke Guzzlord this next turn, probably. Which is not ideal. But we've got enough to stall out the Trick Room turns, I think. A little bit of damage from the um, from the Rocky Helmet will be useful. We get the Static as well, which is nice. Okay. Rocky Helmet damage doing a good chunk. Body Press. This will take Guzzlord down yet. No hope. <clears throat> But we can bring in Urshifu, I guess, now. The dimensions do turn back to normal. So we've got an option where we can bring in Mewtwo and Hurricane. Or we could bring in Urshifu and target down. Like, we can't let the Trick Room get set up again. That's the big thing for us. I think probably Urshifu. Yeah. Can we take... We can probably take a body press. We can probably take a body press from Turtonator. Now we could go Roost. And Surgeon Strikes into Stacker. And we could go Hurricane. Hope for the Confusion into Turtonator. Just we can't really afford to lose Zapdos here. That's the only issue. That would be my only issue. Like we cannot afford to lose Zapdos. Because it's like our best way to deal with Yveltal. Is a body press going to be enough? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, but we don't want to kind of roost in front of it. Just in case. Well, let's hurricane it. Let's hurricane it. And let's search and strike into stacker. Okay, stacks switching out. Oh, Moongus. Rocky Helmet. We do hit the hurricane, which is useful. Doing a nice fat chunk of damage. Do we get the confusion? No. Surgeon Strikes. If this is Rocky Helmet, we're done. We are done. Okay. Body press into Urshifu. Yeah, we can take that. Okay, well... Hurricane will get Among Us. And then I think we just protect Urshifu, right? Do we attack? Because they're going to body press again, I think. Let's just protect. And hope a hurricane hits. Because they're going to Rage Powder, I think. Yeah. And then they're going to body press into Urshifu. I'd imagine. But we miss. We miss. Okay. We got another chance at this. We get another chance at this. Uh, we get the Hurricane this time, and then the Surgeon Strikes should get the Turtonator. Should. Yeah. Okay. Just need the Hurricane to hit, and then we're all good. It hits. Gonna be enough. The moon has gone down. That's great. So, can we get... Can we get the Turtonator? Hopefully. Come on, Urshifu. You know you want to do it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, 
Oh my god, it does like literally zip because it's got ah oh, the ability, the ability. No crits, no crits allowed. I forget about that. Uh, all right, well, this just we got a whole lot harder to deal with. Um, we saw the damage Hurricane did before though, so maybe a Hurricane could. Okay, well, an Aurora Sphere will get Stacker, 100% with Mewtwo. So we can try and Hurricane the Turtonator again. We'll go for the Aurora Sphere into Stacker. That, sh that will get it, 100%. We just need the Hurricane to hit. If we get Confusion as well, that would be huge for us, huge. Because then if it comes down to Evaltal, we can just double the Evaltal with Zapdos Mewtwo. Turtonator Protect, which is actually not too bad. Because this will be able to get. Yeah, and I think what we'll probably. <sighs> Do we just double? Uh, the problem is Sucker Punch from the Eveltal this next turn. Sucker Punch. We could scout it out. We could scout it out. Sucker Punch is definitely coming. Do they sucker and body press Zapdos? It's kind of risky though, right? But Mewtwo's literally unable to do anything here if, if Sucker Punch is coming out. And you would imagine Sucker Punch will come out. Um, <laughs> but do they concentrate more down onto the Zapdos? I would think you're probably more concerned about the Zapdos, really. Uh, so Sucker Punch into the Zapdos makes a lot more sense. Whereas we could probably go... Let's go for this. Thunderbolt and Aurora Sphere. Let's double into the Eveltal. Because I think you might you might go after... Okay. Okay. No. They go for straight. They just play it straight. Go for the Mewtwo. Can a, can, can a Thunderbolt deal with the Eveltal? Goes down next turn. How much is a body press going to do? Quite a lot, I'd imagine. Okay, we'll take another one of those. We'll take another one. Static coming out as well, so that's pretty huge. The problem is... Um, sucker Punch now is going to wear in range for Sucker Punch. But we can roost this off. Problem is, when body press comes in, we take away a flying type. So... We almost need... Turn it to be paralyzed this turn. Can we take it though? Oh, we can, we can. Okay, we're not going to take another one though. Uh, <laughs> we need the fully paras. We need the fully para. Uh, that's what we need. We do need that. I mean, we could hurricane. But if they just click the sucker punch button again, that's the that's the trouble. We need the fully power. That is the only way we can win this. We need the fully power on the Turtonator. They're not sucker punching, so we could have kind of we could have just t bolted. But then we'd need the fully power regardless anyway. So we still need the fully power. Snarl coming out. Yep. Oh my god! It does so much damage. So much damage with the life orb. It is paralyzed, we get it, you know. Mm. Um, We need double fully power, because I don't think they snarl here, I think they suck a punch again, here. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. We need like double fully power, and them to suck a punch here, that's what we need. We need them to suck a punch and then be fully paralyzed. Yeah. Suck a punch. We need them to be, yeah, fully paralyzed and we're back in this. If they don't and they get the body press off, then we're done. Then we're done. Yeah, it gets it. So that's it. That's it. Turn it Too much. Mewtwo. Could not stand up to it. Um, I mean, we could have. 
we could have maybe played the Mewtwo a little bit more carefully, but, you know, we overthought it at the time. Very good game to my opponent. Mewtwo's done well today. We couldn't expect to do really any better with it. It would have been nice to play Shadow Rider Calyrex team, but again, it is Mewtwo, um, and we came up against a pretty hard matchup in that last one. So, friends, we're going to wrap it up there. Here is the rental for today's team. I hope if you do try out the Mewtwo, obviously, it's not the most streamlined Pokemon. It's not the best Pokemon in the format, restricted-wise, for sure. But it is a lot of fun to play around with. I think the team's really fun as well. We didn't really get to see the Memento today, uh, which is a little bit sad. But it does give you a way around things like Calyrex, things like uh, Zashin. If you are in a really tight spot, you kind of want to get your Tailwind up, wait till you're down to the Sash Memento, get rid of Wimby. Gives you that kind of free switch in as well the next turn, which can always be quite helpful. And then gives a, a, a lot of room to the to the other Pokemon on the team. So, friends, have a lot of fun with the team if you do try it out. I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's build. And uh, down in the comment section, just let me know. And uh, we'll wrap up there. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all for another episode on the channel very soon. So, until then, take care and bye-bye.